him up like that in that bear hunt. I, I guess I got caught up in the moment. He, uh, I had a brief moment when I knew he was coming. He opened up the door and he was like, "Where's Scott at?" And as soon as I saw him, he came, came, came right at me. Shook his, shook my hand, and I was just so excited. I just gave him a big hug and picked him up. It was crazy. Did you have permission from the Secret Service to do that? Because you know, I, I used to be a White House correspondent. Those guys are pretty sensitive when it comes to picking up the President of the United States. Actually, a lot of people think we did. It, it was, I, I'm telling you, Wolf, just to spur of the moment. We didn't plan it. We didn't, we didn't have no communication with the Secret Service about it or anything like that. It was just uh, a genuine moment that I was taken back by, and uh, it was an incredible experience. How much advance notice did you get that the president would be coming over to your restaurant? Uh, he'd, he'd come to my store, I wasn't here, I was out hitting some golf balls, and uh, my manager called me. I had roughly about 18 minutes notice before uh, the Secret Service started locking down the street and the block, and uh, I got through the clubs in the back and got here as quick as I could. We didn't had no idea he was coming, and uh, what an honor, I, and, and I keep saying it all day, whether you're Republican or Democrat, he's our president, he's the United States president, and um, like I said, it was just a tremendous honor, and, and it's really bizarre. We were watching the, the convention last week, and, and, and now here he is. It was just, uh, like I said, an amazing experience, and I think that's why, you know, I've never felt like I've been caught up in a moment, but but that was definitely a time where I felt like uh, I was truly caught up in a moment, and it was just uh, awe-inspiring.